In the studios, we're talking with uh, George Metz with GMetz Moving and Storage. George, thanks for coming back, and we're talking about uh, we're talking about relocation packing tips and 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 advice. All right. So, <laughs> uh, when it comes to packing, uh, I tell a lot of our clients that uh, you have to pack your clothes, your blankets, your linens. Utilize those as some of your packing material uh, when you're packing up your kitchen instead of going out and getting a whole bunch of n- used newspaper that has all the ink all over it and you have to rewash your dishes three mm-hmm. or four times to get that stuff off of it. You're better off using what you already plan on packing. So eco-friendly, George. It, that it is, is awesome. It is. Uh, that wouldn't, you know, again, we wouldn't do that if you hired us to pack. Uh, <laughs> you would have a, a... Give me that T-shirt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to happen. We, we use... Um, a non-printed um, newsprint is what it's called. There's no print on it. Same size as a regular newsprint. Uh, but again, for you, uh, the clients that are out there that need to pack, use what you already have. Um, it's something that you have to pack up anyway. You'll save not only time with packing those items together, you're going to save on money for the cost of boxes because you are you can realistically get rid of, eliminate one box uh, if you're packing that way. Um, that's that's always a huge helpful tip uh, when it comes to packing up things that you already have to pack. Yeah. Um, another packing tip is go room by room. Uh, pack one room, Key. go on to the next. Um, again, from my experience, if you're paying us to pack, you're going to want to see results. Yeah. And if we're packing a little bit from the living room, a little bit from your bedroom, a little bit from the kitchen, and we have 20 boxes packed, that's a good amount of boxes that are packed. Yeah. But if the room isn't complete, the customer is going to say, what the heck are you guys doing? Yeah. Nothing is complete. So if you go room by room, you not only have the sense of accomplishment, you can shut the door, you're done in that area, you know you don't have to go back, and it just, again, it makes it that much easier. You know that that room's done, you shut it, and you don't open it until the day of the move. Um, other helpful packing tips are uh, when you're labeling the box, always label it on the side of the box. That way we can see it as we're carrying it. Most of the guys can carry two, three, four boxes sometimes. Um, and if they're, t- um, if you're labeling on the top of the box, we have to place them down, <laughs> lift them off of each other. Um, I never to thought find, of that. And, and find the right room. So if you're labeling it on the side of the box and label it to the room that it's going to, not the room that it came from. Mm. Uh, label by color. Um, so if it's going to the blue room, you put blue, uh, if it's going to kitchen, you put kitchen, um, bedroom, that, that's always great. But if it's a three bedroom home, yeah. which, what, one? which one, yeah. uh, so those are, again, those are just quick things. Uh, it makes the movers life so much easier. It makes our life so much easier. It makes your life so much easier. You don't have two, three, four movers coming to you every five seconds. Where do you want this box? Yeah. Where's this one going? And uh, most of the time, the customer will have to open it to say, um, kitchen, or that's going back to the bedroom. So those are the things that, um, again, are the quick, helpful tips when it comes to the, the move planning and preparation side. That's awesome, yeah. Uh, having a, a good idea of where you want your lodger furniture to go before we get to the unload. Uh, that way, the guys can go in. Um, they do a walkthrough when the home is empty. Um they're not putting 20 boxes on the wall where the couch is supposed to go. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden we have to go in and move the 20 boxes to put the couch where it was where it was supposed to be from the beginning. Um, so having a good idea of the layout of your home. Um, but again, the guys do a walkthrough. Uh, when it comes to us, they do a walkthrough before the home um, even gets a box brought in. Um, they want to see where things are going to get laid out, where the headboard is going to get set up in the bedroom, with bureaus, uh, couches, where everything's going. So it just makes it that much easier and smoother. You said something one time as well. I, th- I think it was you, George. Yep. You said make three piles in each room. So start in each room, make three piles, and uh, one of them donate. The other ones, uh, I guess, give away to family or friends, and the other one is keep. Or maybe, wait, donate, give away, trash, keep. Correct. Right? And we can assist with all, all of those. So my fiance and I, she, we're in the process of moving her into my house, and I've actually used your advice. <laughs> and it's been very, very helpful, and we've noticed that we've been a lot more organized this time around. And um, we were talking later on in the show, the average American moves 11.4 times in their life. And that, that is that is, uh, that is a lot. Um, yeah, I've, yeah. I've been doing this my entire life. Originally it was uh, one, one person would move um, – 
once to twice in their life, and wow. normally it was about every 25 years they would move. Not anymore. We are no. a very mobile country, which is uh, pretty cool for our workforce and, you know, a lot of people moving and retiring, unfortunately, away from Rhode Island. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. On the other note, a lot of people from Massachusetts moving into Rhode Island, which is pretty cool. Um, but, George, thank you very much. For, no problem. Uh, and uh, thank you to the uh, bus driver from Providence for listening to the station. Oh, uh, awesome. We booked the job uh, directly from this. Uh, she heard us on the radio a few times. and. Uh, Hopefully she's listening again to say hello and thanks for the uh, the opportunity to get her work. Oh, that's really great. Yeah, our listeners are awesome. And you can contact George easily at theroundtableradio.com. 